welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods, proudly supported by Just Car Insurance. Now, for years and years, Moog and I have been arguing over what's better out of Nissan or Subaru. So we've put together a bunch of completely scientifically unproven challenges to put this thing straight once and for all. Only this time the stakes are higher, because whoever loses, loses their car. And they lose their car for good. Not only that, they have to buy a new car that's the same brand as the winner's car. It's going to be an embarrassment, Martin. But first of all, just a little bit of history. Marty and I have always had a rivalry between Subaru and Nissan, so last year we had a race to see which one of our cars was actually faster. The Subaru was defeated, and Marty vowed never to lose to a Nissan again, so he built up another Subaru RS from the ground up on his driveway. Even though my Nissan won last time, it wouldn't stand a chance against the newly built upgraded RS, so the mods began on the S15 to make sure that I would destroy the Subaru once again. This is my all-wheel drive 1992 Subaru RS Liberty with a 2.0-litre EJ20 running a VF23 turbo on 16 pounds. It has a turbo back 3-inch exhaust, GFB boost controller, GFB blow-off valve, a front mount intercooler, 440cc STI injectors, an upgraded fuel pump and fuel rails, tech edge wideband, WRX seats, lowered STI suspension and STI 17-inch wheels with road tyres. This is my JDM Nissan Silvia S15 with a 2.0-litre turbocharged SR20 DET engine. It has a turbo back 3-inch exhaust, GFB boost controller, GFB stealth blow-off valve, a black front mount intercooler, tech edge wideband, Recaro SR7 racing seats, lowered springs and ABS 17-inch rims with Bridgestone REO1 semi-slicks. Challenges will be set and agreed upon by Marty and Moo. Winning a challenge means winning points towards your score. The most points after all challenges will determine the winner. The loser must surrender their car immediately to the winner who will sell it. The loser must buy a new car which will be chosen by the winner. The loser's new car must be the same brand as the winning vehicle. When it comes to affordability, for the price of one S15, you can buy not one, not two, but three RS turbos. Parts for the RS are cheaper than the Nissan, plus insurance is cheaper for the RS as well. All this means more cash left over to feed your engine, so the Subaru wins this one. When it comes to safety, the Nissan offers ABS as standard and airbags for both driver and passenger. The Subaru has all-wheel drive, but no airbags and ABS was an optional extra, so the S15 wins this one hands down. Moog and I share a love of building clean and fairly stock looking cars. Not wanting to attract too much unwanted attention has led us to modify our cars in a similar stealthy style. Both cars have an X-Force Verax volume controlled exhaust, GFB volume controlled blow off valves, factory air boxes instead of pod filters and aftermarket suspension that still sits at legal height. The fact is that no matter how stealthy you make an S15, it will still always draw more attention, both good and bad, than the lowly RS. So we've agreed that the RS wins this one. Marty's RS has a massive boot, which he likes to keep clean for the ladies. He can also carry things in the boot and the back seat. Plus, being a wagon, he's legally allowed to park in loading zones. And he can do this. Even though in the past we've built a very practical Nissan, Subaru definitely wins this one.
The S15 has a comfortable interior for one or two people and currently has a set of Recaro SR7s. The back seats are totally useless and if you're unlucky enough to find yourself back there, you'll be banging your head on the back window on every single bump. I'll give you Subaru this. The back seats are more comfortable than this. My Subaru has enough room for four people comfortably and the back is big enough for two people to sleep in. For any more than two people, the RS wins in passenger comfort. When it comes to looks, it's always subjective and a personal choice. While the RS offers a boxy, tough look, the S15 holds onto a confident, streamlined, classic two-door sports car shape. For this challenge, we let the audience decide, and 66% of people on the Mighty Car Mods forum voted that the S15 looks better. Personally, I can't believe that the RS got any votes at all, let alone 34% of them. But luckily, good taste has prevailed, and the Nissan wins this one. We asked the MightyCarMods.com forum which of these two cars was more JDM or more Japanese, which was a pretty stupid question. Luckily, 73% of people said the S15 was more JDM and 27% of voters who had clearly lost their minds said the Australian delivered Subaru was more Japanese. But just when we thought this challenge was done and dusted, we thought if we really wanted to find out which of these two Japanese cars was more Japanese, we should go to Japan and find out. So you might remember Mr. Sato from our Turbos and Temples film. We've come up to his Sapporo workshop to get his opinion on whether my car or Moog's car is more JDM. <laughs> So he thinks this one is more like JDM. There you go, there you have it. I think that's a plus one to me, to Team Subaru. As controversial as this challenge is, Moog and I had agreed before we left for Japan that we had to go with the Japanese vote. So in a strange twist of fate and logic, the Subaru wins this one whether Moog likes it or not. Sixty-three percent of people on the Mighty Car Mods forum said the S15 has better street cred, so the Nissan wins this one. Now when it comes to performance cars, of course, there's probably nothing more important than performance itself. That's right, so we've come down to Maroolan Driver Training Centre for the final battle. And the final battle indeed, because whoever loses this one is going to lose their car and Martin's going to be very sad. Now a lot of people say, of course, that a lot of driver skill comes into it, so we're going to take ourselves out of the equation. Because we're not going to be driving, he is. We've employed a professional race car driver who lives inside these tyres at Maroolan Driver Training Centre and he'll be taking the Nissan and the Subaru through their paces on the track. The Subaru's going to do the first timed lap from a standing start. On three, two, one, go! That means fast, dude. That's what that means. That means a good time. Look at it. Oh, wow, he's oh. wailing. Take a look. There goes your gearbox, mate. The record's 36. I don't think he's going to quite get there. Point eight. How are you feeling, Marty? I'm confident. Quite. Whoa! <laughs> That's the time for the S15 to beat. How'd it go, man? Yeah, not bad. It was a little bit understeery, and then a little bit oversteery, and then the brakes were not too bad. Yeah. They started to go off towards the end. Yeah. Um, Is it going to beat Moog's car? Well, we'll see.
Now it's the Nissan's turn. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> it's looking slow though, it actually doesn't look that quick. Are you serious? It doesn't look quick. It looks stupidly quick. When, when he was braking with mine, it was like, you know, almost going through the corner, man. That's because your suspension's far. terrible. Listen to that. That sounds like a squealing into third gear. Sideways is slow, you knew that, right? He destroyed you! He absolutely destroyed you! 49 what by 8 seconds! Care. Yeah, shut up, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Your car's shit. Oh. Sorry, how much can you put in the boot? Oh, nothing, destroyed. that's right. Whatever. He got destroyed by 5 <laughs> seconds! 5 <laughs> seconds! He got destroyed. Laugh now, dude. But that's one more point down for you to sell your granny mobile, mate. Whatever. That's awesome! Whatever, dude. I don't care. Oh, dude. I don't care. What an awesome looking car that's fast. I mean, imagine if he had a terrible looking slow car. I mean, you don't have to imagine too hard, but you know. You know, today's challenge is all about performance cars. Which car actually feels like a performance car? I mean, the figures have said that this has destroyed Mighty's car, but which car actually feels better? Well, I think the figures don't lie in this case, uh, as is the case with most sports cars, front engine, rear wheel drive, you just can't beat that for fun. As a general setup, the suspension felt firmer. Um, the, the handling was a lot more neutral. The seats felt great, good hold on the sides, which means you got more control when you throwing it around the corners. Awesome, well uh, the next challenge is um is the drifting challenge, so we'll see how Marty goes in that one. <laughs> First up, the king of drift, the Nissan Silvia. Time for the all-wheel drive Subaru, which unlike the Silvia, is designed not to drift. <laughs> the Subaru has won affordability, stealth, practicality, passenger comfort and gets the controversial JDM vote. And the Nissan wins in safety, looks, street cred, time attack and drifting. It's come down to this, the final challenge, a drag race. With five points each, the winner takes all. The glory of their brand and the keys to the loser's car, which will be put up for sale. The rules state that if I lose, I have to sell my car and buy Subaru. And if Marty loses, he has to sell his ugly wagon and buy a Nissan.
got towards the end, it was like it was this close, and I had it, man. By this much, you definitely did not have it. I definitely did not have it. Where's the camera? Someone got some. I don't even know how to use that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was definitely in front for all of it, including the end. Next frame, there's the finish line. Look at that, dude. That's like one meter. But that Subaru is definitely in front. Marty was right. I hadn't launched hard enough, and my car, that I'd travelled to Japan to choose personally, the cleanest Sylvia I'd ever seen, was snatched from me, just like that. Dude, I destroyed you. Subaru wins. I will destroy all Nissans. I will destroy all Nissans. What did you say? I will destroy all Nissans. I will destroy all Nissans. You'll destroy all Nissans? Nothing, dude. Is that what you said? No. I'm pretty sure you just said I'll destroy all Nissans. No. I'll be back in a sec. Just give me a minute. Destroy all Nissans. Give me one minute. challenge and he can take my car but he'll never take my Nissan pride but this is for you Flirty and all the Nissan loving unicorns in the universe it's time to teach this filthy Subaru a lesson Oh, that does not sound good. Yeah, yeah that's second gear. Not only did I get smashed by a GTR, I think I've blown up my gearbox. <laughs> oh crap. That was even slower than usual, mate. Yeah, there might have been a reason for it. <laughs> that's awesome. I feel like it was worth it though. It was worth it to... to to smash your car while getting smashed by a GTR. Yeah, like, what a mad excuse. Who, what were you doing when you broke it? I was dragging a GTR. It's bittersweet it is because I lose my car, so as far as we're concerned, Nissan loses, but overall, Nissan always wins. Thanks, mate. Good work. It was time to say goodbye to my car. And even though I lost today, I feel like I wasn't the only loser. Sounds good, mate. See ya. Yeah, I blew second gear, yeah, it's a Subaru, yeah, it was bound to happen. 300,000 Ks of reliability, and I blew it on a track in one little race with Moog.
I did smash you though while I was racing you before it blew up, hey. Oh. Whatever, dude. I said, isn't it interesting that uh, it's actually called an RS Turbo? What does RS stand for? Rat shit. <laughs>